Hey, this is Mark, and I am inside the Action Figuratorium studio where I do all my photography, and this is another episode of What Am I Shooting This Week, in which I ask the question about the subject of the uh, toys I'm going to be photographing. What am I shooting? And um, I can say that it is not going to be the Galactus in his pimp coat, um, only because I have not uh, procured a pimp cane to go with it per se. It's something I'm probably going to have to make, which I don't mind. going to be a lot of fun, but we'll back burner that. No, instead we're going to be doing some 12-inch uh, 1-6 uh, Snoop Dogg. I had somebody on Instagram follow me and praise my Snoop Dogg photo that I had up uh, in honor of his performance, the Snooper Bowl. And so we're gonna be doing a bit more of that. I'm gonna get into his outfit and uh, wait till you see the cool ass prop that we have just for, uh, just for the Snoopster and, uh, and that awesome, awesome pinstripe suit. So stick around. So here we are in the uh, studio and I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be working on this week. We have a 1-6 scale Snoop Dogg figure. Now this guy I have dressed in a very cool uh, three-piece pinstripe suit. It's got... Um, well, I guess we can turn on some light. It's got uh, pants with suspenders, right? And uh, and they actually work pretty well. They hike the pants up and they actually show a bunch of sock, which I think is kind of cool looking on this guy. It has a uh, cool little, um, if you can see this, it is a uh, spot in the back where the suspenders come together. Um, he has a uh, vest, a pinstripe vest, and he also has a pinstripe jacket. There is a cool bow tie that he has on. Now, if you are wondering uh, where this uh, set of clothes came from, because I have such a small group of subscribers and viewers, I don't mind giving away the secrets. You guys are the select few. If you tuned into this channel and you're doing toy photography like me or just cool collecting and you're trying to put your characters into like cool clothing and cool vehicles, cool play sets, I'm your guy. I will tip you off on what you should do. And this particular suit happened to have come from a talking president line doll of Winston Churchill. That's right, this came off a Winston Churchill figure. And strangely enough, I always thought of Winston Churchill as being this kind of fat guy. And this doll was just a 12 inch doll with a Winston Churchill head. He was not fat, but the suit is totally fat if you know what I mean. So Snoop is now wearing the uh, official clothing of Winston Churchill. I think we're going to uh, uh, set him on the table like this for now while I go through the other prompts. Now, for those of you that don't know, the uh, founder of uh, all Western music is Robert Johnson, who, according to legend, went down to the crossroads. He met the devil and sold his soul in exchange for a catalog of hits, a catalog of songs. And these songs have essentially been reinterpreted for decades and decades and decades of what we know as blues and rock and roll. And so this character with the pinstripe suit, I am uh, officially calling uh, Snoop Johnson, uh, kind of a, a Robert Johnson Snoop Dogg crossover. So the other figure that we're going to include with the Snoopster is going to be this Billie Eilish doll. Now, if you watch the Instagram, feed of Action Figuratorium, you will see that Snoop and Eilish on my feed come up all the time. I'm trying to make them into kind of a cool pair, a kind of a cool couple, sort of a short, weird, 
uh, indie but not indie at all rocker and the, um, uh, I don't know, what is he, some sort of, uh, of rap dope smoking legend together again having sort of uh, high fructose adventures. So we're going to use this Billie Eilish and she is going to be in a... Uh, She's going to be in a little pinstripey suit, as you can see there. And you're probably wondering, well, did you get that off a, off a talking Winston Churchill uh, doll? No, I did not. I got it off a talking JFK doll. Did not have the uh, vest that the Snoop came with. Same company, by the way. It looks The suits look almost exactly like the pinstripes are a little, little different color, and it could, it could just be age or something like that. So it does not have uh, the vest, but it came with a, a really nice sort of shirt and tie. However, the tie clashes with the hair. This blue and this blue look bad. So I have a second one of these um, Billie Eilish dolls with a, a little different outfit and a different different hairstyle. I think it might have silver one. No, no, no. It's on my, uh, there's an unboxing video on my channel. We'll have to check it out. So I'm thinking about swapping heads on these and um, and of course, these uh, yellow sneakers are kind of David Letterman. We'll see if we can fix that. Um, overall, not bad. However, I have to say that because of the size, the scale of the um, of the Billie Eilish figure, any suit that you put on her looks really big, like she's uh, David Byrne and Stop Making Sense, or some kid who, you know, put on her dad's clothes and went to school, that kind of thing. So there's going to be a little bit of hindrance like that, but I think uh, just having her in the suit and having her kind of, not the main focus, but sort of a, a nearby kind of friend of the Snoopster is what we're going to be going for with this. Now the uh, pool table itself should probably have its own episode of Thrift Store Toy Rescues. If you've uh, ever seen those on my channel, it's basically where I go around and I I show you all the uh, toys that I managed to dig out of thrift stores. So this pool table was $5, did not have any legs, uh, not supposed to have legs, so I made some out of these, uh, these uh, little uh, chunks of, uh, I don't know, uh, about an inch diameter dowel and uh, stained them with some linseed. They look pretty good. And then these, uh, these Pool balls here, as you can see, these came off of like a cheap little tabletop game that you can get for a couple bucks pretty much anywhere, like dollar stores. And I actually had the little, um, it's back here. Yeah, I got the little, um, excuse the, the back of the shot. Just trying to pull something out. It's got the little uh, breaking triangle too. I'm not sure exactly what that's called. Um, and then I had to make some, some pool cues. And so what I did is I just took some chopsticks. And we, um, you know, you break them apart and then you kind of sand down all the roughness and uh, put a little bit of masking tape and just spray paint them brown and a little dip of white on the tips and uh, some just to differentiate between the brown and the, and the, uh, the wood. I also should mention that I use the exact same linseed oil on, uh, on these as I did for the uh, legs and they turned out pretty good. They look pretty good. When I put them in people's hands, they're about the right size. They're, um... It can be just a smidge taller, but not much. Should look pretty good near uh, near the the Eilish. So uh, that is the main plan for the two characters. Other than uh, as far as what I'm going to do for the rest of the set and the lighting, um, there is this uh, this light that I have placed directly over the table to try and give you that kind of. Um, that pool table lighting where it's just the table and everything else is around and it's dark. And to make that even cooler, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, uh, a like a black background and we're going to put another light that's gonna be uh, pushing up, lighting it, and we're gonna take the smoke machine and fire some smoke back there and just kind of light it and make it look sort of smoky and see what it comes out. Could be cool, could be lame, we'll sort of work around. I don't really have an entire pool hall set, I just have table and some uh, some classic classic characters who really need to be seen um, smoking doobies playing pool so uh, with that um, I'm gonna get to it that's what you're going to be seeing on this week's uh, Instagram feed is these things are gonna start to trickle out 
and uh, I want to thank everybody who stuck around this long in the vidii and let you know that the uh, pimp jacket uh, Galactus is in the works and there'll be another video on that later when I decide it is time. So uh, I will catch you guys in the next one.